Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see or not, but we got basically car after car after car after car after car all the way up the Keys coming into Key West. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. So uh, today is Sunday, so we've got Labor Day weekend, one more four day weekend. So lots of people coming in town. So I'm heading out to the back country again, get away from it, hitting these small islands where they're all on the flat so the boats can't get to them, but I can. So we're gonna do some uh, shooting and netting and cooking and eating and all that stuff. So that's the plan for today. All right, here at our first spot, it is looking awful murky. Plus there's no sun. So that's gonna make things a little tougher, but uh, you never know unless you try. So uh, let's get wet and see what we can get. Well, there's two uh, legal lobsters there, but I might leave those alone if I don't, unless I don't find any more on these other places, because that's a nice close-in spot. Shooting the mangroves are gonna be a little tougher because the visibility is so bad. They just, I don't see them until they're like this close and then they freak out, so gotta be quick. Hopefully I can find some uh, cleaner water up here. Well, found a beauty uh, just right underneath here. I just cruised along the shoreline and then found a couple of holes. There's a couple of them in there that are legal size, but one real good one. So I'm gonna go pick him up now. <laughs> All right, got our lobster part of it. Do our measurements, of course. Just to the edge. So we are solid. Not by much, but we made it.
Well, we've got our nice little snapper, got my lobster there, so uh, I think I'm gonna go find a little bit more sheltered spot and get to cooking. Here's a pretty little spot, little cove. Nice area near the mangroves here. A little bit of deeper water, so while I'm waiting for the stuff to marinate, I can do some uh, snorkeling and exploring. Yeah, nice little spot here. Okay, we've got our lobster, our mango snapper. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up real quick. Lobster. Cut the meat away from the body. And just twist it off. And he goes back in the ocean. And we could flay this mangrove up real quick. Okay, we've got our mangrove fillets, lobster uh, tail there. So I'm just gonna chop them up finely. And we want just little itty bitty, less than a dime size pieces. All right, so I've got my container. I'm gonna throw the little fish and the lobster in there. I've got some lemons and limes that is going to be our fuel for the day and there we go now it's just time to throw it on the cooler let it chill out a bit and let it cook for about a half an hour or so and I'm gonna go do some snorkeling Hello? Hello? Say hello. It'll be a viral video if you say hello. Hello, I'll put you on YouTube. Nothing? You're not gonna say hello? Try it. Hello. Hello. All right. The other ingredients we're gonna use is got some Tostitos avocado, and I've got some leftover uh, cilantro salsa. So it's gonna be quick and easy. All right, it's been about a half an hour. Been letting it soak in that uh, lemon lime juice there. And you can see how it's turned all white, like it's been steamed or cooked. And even like the lobster pieces, they get that red coloring, just like they've been boiled. So this is pretty good. You could keep them in there as long as overnight if you wanted to, just throw them in the refrigerator, but as long as I look and they don't look translucent, like they look totally cooked through, I'm good to go. Now what I'm going to do is, you could directly add like all your extras, the tomatoes and all my salsa and avocado and stuff, but you can see how much lemon juice is still there, and that's just a bit much and it's going to overpower it, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, dump that out, or most of it out, leave some of it so I get a little bit of that tang. Alright, so we just got mainly the uh, good stuff there. I've got my avocado go in there. I just got my leftover salsa, so that works perfectly. You can do fresh, just tomatoes, uh, cilantro, uh, onions, salt, pepper, all that stuff. I'm just gonna shake it up so it doesn't. Get everything coated and mixed up. There we go. 
That is our lobster and uh, mangrove snapper ceviche on the water. All right, let's give this a try. That's got a big old chunk there, that's lobster. perfect amount of that lamby tanginess, but you can still taste the fish. Avocado and mango snapper. Hmm. Oh, good. Hmm. Very nice. You really can't beat that. Pretty simple to make. Oh, so tasty. And fresh caught. So, another one bites the dust. I'm gonna drift along into the sunset. Or maybe not that long. But, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye.